Being a YouTuber is hard. Okay, it's not actually hard, but there's a lot of little aspects in my life that make posting YouTube videos hard. Let, let me explain. I've had this YouTube channel for over a year now, and the last video I posted was around three months ago. And so far, I have 12 videos, with this one being my 13th. And right now, I have a whopping 126 subscribers. Yes, I know it's not a lot, but I'm pretty proud of the gathering that, I've, that I have so far. And thank you to all 126 of you for supporting me so far. Uh, but enough about that. I want to use this time to reflect on my YouTube journey uh, so far and give you my thoughts. Being a YouTuber can be summed up in one word, relationship. YouTube is like a relationship. I know it's crazy, but hear me out. Think about it. There are three stages in a relationship. Honeymoon, comfortable, and downhill. I know not all relationships end up downhill, but that step is relevant to my YouTube situation, so sit tight for a bit. And this idea was inspired by Wang Fu, so shout out to them, and let's start from the beginning. I was so excited about the idea of starting a YouTube channel. I was just finishing off my senior year of high school, and I wanted to try something new. I've been watching college YouTubers for a while now, and I thought it was so cool how these YouTubers were putting themselves out there. So I started my channel. I had so many ideas lined up for what I want to do, and I would always look forward to making my next video. So now imagine if this were a relationship. Oh bruh, I finally hit that 225 bench for one rep, bruh. What? No way! Oh, what the fuck? Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? How are you? Good, good. I was having the time of my life, and I thought this was my new thing. The shooting and editing sometimes took a really long time, but I was perfectly fine staying up an extra two, three, four hours editing. But as the months went by, something changed. Things weren't exactly how it used to be. With school at the peak of finals and a ton of homework rolling in, posting videos became harder and harder to do. I was less willing to stay up late to edit, and the initial drive I once had began to dissipate. Hey, what are we having for dinner tonight? Um, I don't know, up to you. But you usually have the options. Ah, shoot, actually, um, tonight might not be a good night. Tonight is boys night. Boys night. Bro! I finally hit that 225 again! And you know what time it is? I think it's time to celebrate with the boys! Bro, no boys. way, man! No. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! I would still post every once in a while, but I became comfortable with the facts of how things were. I still loved YouTube, but I was content, assuming that it was okay not to post videos. Soon enough, I was taking my YouTube channel for granted, and then I began to enter the last stage. Much like a relationship, I never imagined it can get to this point. It's a slow and gradual process, and I may seem a little overdramatic here, but it's true. How could one go from being genuinely excited about a hobby or an interest, and then all of a sudden, get bored of it? I just assumed that this was normal, and I thought, nah, I would pick it back up when I have the time. But as the homework piled up and finals week rolled around again, YouTube was in the back of my mind. Until eventually... Hey, um, can I, can I talk to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, look, so the spark that we once had just isn't there anymore. Okay, so I think it's best if we just took a break? A break? A break? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> a break? <laughs> Okay, look, 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 look. Okay, I promise the break will just be three months. Three month, three month break. A time limit? <laughs> Are you joking? Jesus Christ. Whatever, man. It's, it's okay. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Oh, bruh. She is kind of hard, yeah? Bruh, I bet she can hit that 225, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Again, a bit of an exaggeration, but this is how I imagined it in my head. I felt okay with the fact that I could just stop making YouTube videos, right here, right now. But, like any relationship, sometimes you just need a reminder of what made you love your interest in the first place. And that's where the secret step 4 comes in. After stage 3, a relationship, or a YouTube channel in this case, can go one of two ways. You can either quit, or you can pick it back up again. I'm at this stage right now. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'll continue this YouTube journey and if I still enjoy doing it. 
I'm trying to rekindle that passion I once had by reminding myself why I did this in the first place. Bottom line is, as long as you remember why you love something or someone to begin with, it's never too late to go back. Unless you cheated, there is no going back from there. Remember that, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I just wanna thank everyone who, who was in this video. Uh, thank you, Marissa, for shooting, editing, and acting in this film. I also want to say thank you to my siblings over here for being in this film and JC for using this camera to film for us. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video and make sure to subscribe.